Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So yeah, last two episodes we were introduced to the Jaw Titan and the Warhammer Titan, if I'm correct on that. Yeah, they kind of, I mean, they really didn't show who it was or, you know, uh, what the Titan actually looks like. But at least, yeah, that's like a newer Titan. So yeah, this season I could tell we're definitely going to be finding or um, being introduced to a lot more Titans. You know, like the remaining two or three that we have left that they haven't shown off yet but yeah basically yeah those like first two episodes basically just showing us you know how the Eldians are living now in the present actually I think I actually I think it was four years later actually from yeah where they left off from season three so yeah four years after that if I'm correct or like a year or so but, yeah, basically just see the Eldians and, you know, just basically see the war and just life from their perspective, you know, what they have to deal with and, you know, basically coming back home to their families and all, just like, you know, regular war, you know, when soldiers have to leave and then, you know, come back, see their family, if, yeah, they're hopefully alive still. And then some got, you know, that trauma or something like that, so, yeah. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So yeah, let's just see what happens in these next two. So if you guys will enjoy this, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get this reaction started. Okay, so we get to see some of Reiner's backstory here. Or, oh no! Yeah, see, yeah, in the past here. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna be Marlians. And yeah, actually, hold up. I think, yeah, most of the people there are Titans right now. Yeah, there goes Annie. Oh, so whoa. Okay, so while Reiner was talking about being the greatest son, you know, that any, anyone could ever have, because yeah, he wants his mom and dad to get back together. But yeah, just as he how he was talking about that to Burhalt, Aaron was just looking up in the sky as well with his walls. So yeah, I kind of like, yeah, because it's like the other side of the wall, because right here, where Reiner and Burhalt, yeah, they're, um, you know, was just looking up from one side of the wall and then comes down on the other. But, yeah, I mean, I don't mind, yeah, definitely look at more of this backstory and learn more about them because, yeah, really, to be honest, I don't know nothing about Ryan or Burhalt, you know, how they really became Titans, and I can see now, yeah, they kind of went through the same training, like how the survey courts had to go through, you know, but except it's probably going to be more strict because, yeah, they're literally going to be the next Titans and yeah that's a lot so yeah we can't just have some regular person you know become a titan so yeah they definitely need to be trained well what was this oh annie so yeah female okay hit hard when it needs to Yep, that screen. And then that's Reiner. The cart Titan? What is that? Okay. 
Yeah, I guess a literal cart thing. Oh, peak. Oh yeah, I remember her. Okay, so from the last two episodes, yeah, they showed her. But I know she was. Oh, the colossal. Yep, that explosion. But yeah, I didn't know she was a titan. So okay, that's who she was all the time. So yeah, she's from. Yeah, when we went against the beast titan from season three. Yeah, when she saved uh, Zeke. Yep, he did all that work to become a Marlian, but yet, look at this now. Yep. Oh, never mind. That was just him um, imagining it. Well, I mean, did he at least at least try? I mean, that probably is what might happen. Cause yeah, once you're an Eldian, you still are an Eldian at heart, really, or by blood. So, yeah. Oh wait, is this the part where uh, Yumir? Yep, pops up out of nowhere and um kills one of them or eats one of them. But yeah, let's hope yeah, all that hard work really didn't go to nothing. Well actually you know what? <laughs> Yo, they got me siding for Reiner now. Hold up, nah bro. But Yeah, we'll have to see though. I'm saying you're, you're saying they're gonna single out Reiner and take away his powers, but no, nah, they're gonna take all your powers. But wait, how? Yeah, so Marcel was the jaw, so. I was about to ask, like, yeah, how are they going to get the jaw titan back then? Well, I guess we'll have to see. Because, yeah, right now, I forgot his name. But uh, someone else has it right now. Oh, he's back up. Okay. Oh, this is when his, uh, yeah, this is when he had like that split personality or when it started. Okay. Oh, hold up. Let me see this. Declassified information. Warrior candidates. A child soldier unit composed of demonic Eldian children. They undergo brutal training under the supervision of the Malian army and are evaluated and chosen based on their grade, skills, behavior, personality, and loyalty to their country. Because only Eldians can hold one of the nine. Oh, so. Yeah, Marlians could actually hold uh you know at least the nine titans then yeah they wouldn't even need the eldians at all they just get rid of all of them i'm pretty sure they are necessary elements of national defense despite being demons to this end eldian warriors and their immediate family can earn the title of honorary marlians yep okay so yeah it really does depend on whether yeah you're just one of those chosen eldians you become one of the nine titans and yeah, you can sort of become a Marlian. Like yeah, you'll become one, but it's not like you're actually going to be one because you still gotta have the armband on. But yeah, okay, so yeah, I get to at least see this now. And yeah, to think in season one, you know, when they first attacked and you know destroyed the walls, 
to think they were so young, just as young as Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa. Like, yeah, they were that young, and they were just destroying these walls and just, you know, doing their mission. But, you know, we just have to keep on going. Hey, hold up. What's going on in the background there? Someone got the gun, like... Wait. That's Reiner? Yeah? He almost did it? Wow. I mean, he... Was that for real, or... Okay, he was about to just kill himself there. Whoa. Hold up. I know that voice from... Bro, don't tell me that's Aaron. That is his... No, that's his voice. I know that from anywhere. Wow, wait, so... He took off his own leg. Yeah, and faked his injuries. Uh, yeah, so he could get inside. Wow. Yeah, he definitely has grown. Yeah, looking a lot older. Oh, no, that's definitely Aaron right there. To be continued. Okay, so... I don't know. Yeah, is there a way to control your healing? Because, yeah, his leg would have been healed up by now. Because I do remember seeing him before when... um. Yeah, when they came back and everybody saw their, you know, family and all. And, you know, there was those other people who were still kind of traumatized from the war. So when they, um, was messing around with them and had, like, yeah, the whistle and then boom, like an explosion or a missile or something. Everybody, you know, um, basically was scared and obviously reacted, you know, in a way like, yeah, basically they were traumatized. So... Yeah, I definitely saw Aaron there, and his leg was the same way. So, I don't know, like, if he's able to control it healing and make it to where, yeah, he doesn't, um, that he, like, his leg doesn't heal up at all. Like, it slowly is healing, but it's not actually fully, you know, like, forming itself back until, like, yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, I want my leg to be healed back then um it's good but yeah preview but then at the same time i don't even know how long it's been anyways but i'm pretty sure it would be healed up more than that at least but now i could be wrong of that being aaron but i don't know that voice is sounding exactly the same and then his eyes just looking at the face like no nah. But yeah, okay, yeah, I really like how that connected together, because it's like, oh yeah, I didn't even know what this was, like, yeah, her, so this is Kenny's daughter, yeah, we're gonna have to go more into that, but, yeah, to think they were this young when they destroyed these walls, and, yeah, eventually was here, when okay it's like they're the ones who caused everyone to be in this building right now having to recover and have no home to stay at <laughs> yeah yeah here they are yeah man just resting along with them but yeah i kind of get more and more like yeah what's going on here you know how you're able to become one of the nine so you have to be an eldian you can't being Marleyan, because yeah, that's pretty much impossible for Marleyan to 
Yeah, become one, right? Because it says only Eldians can do it. And yeah, I don't know. It's like... They say they're demons still, but it's like... Aren't, are they not helping them with these wars? Like, I don't get it. it. It's weird. It's like they give them the Titan powers, trust them with it, completely trust them with the powers, and still call them demons. Like, I, I don't get it, but... Yeah. I mean, that that's them. Like, if anything... It seems like they're on equal terms. But yet they just don't like the Eldian still because it's just in their blood. Yeah, I don't know. Because, uh, what was her name? Gabby, right? A Eldian, just like the others, with that inner blood. And it's like they completely trust her with a plan. That, um wouldn't have to cost them i forgot how many soldiers there were but like what eight thousand or something eight hundred or so yeah that wouldn't they wouldn't have to use that many soldiers like yeah they literally just had to use gabby and that was it you know they completely trusted her with that so <laughs> yeah because she really could have messed that up you know but, yeah, that's pretty much about it. But, yeah, we did. So, wait. So, the Jaw Titan was Marcel. Correct. Yeah, correct. And was also, yeah, Marcel is apparently Reiner's brother, too. I, I think I knew that, but then, not really. I probably forgot somewhere. Then, yeah, she's the one, oh, wait, yeah, she's the one who was there in season three with the Beast, with Zeke, you know, especially after Levi just tore through Zeke, she's the one who eventually came through and saved him, so, really, there was, like, five Titans there, because you had the female, you had the Colossal, Armored, Beast, and you had the Cart, so that's five out of nine that was there, you know? So, yeah, and it's like all five of them were taken down, at least, yeah, at some point. But, oh, yeah, the Warhammer. Okay, we still need to find out about who that is. Yep. But other than that, yeah, uh, that's pretty much about it for this episode. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, tell someone that he's here or doing just fine there. Yep. So, obviously, the other survey corpse. Because, no, that's, that's got to be Aaron. That voice, it, it just got to be him. So, yeah, telling the others, oh, from one hand to another... But yeah, telling the others, like, yeah, he's basically, yeah, infiltrated the place. And yeah, it's kind of a success, so whatever they're trying to do right now. Okay, this is the whole family? Yo. Yeah, and then you can definitely tell they haven't been out in a while. Cause yeah, the whole family is literally there. Like yeah, it's not like, well no, I mean that's that's common anyways. Cause like Reiner, and uh like yeah, Gabby too. I guess yeah, their whole families together. But yeah, that's a lot there. Yeah, and who is that Warhammer Titan? Oh, Falco really trying to get that Titan. Yep. Oh, yeah, and I was kind of confused because it was calling Galliard Polk. Because, yeah, yeah, I remember his name now, Galliard. But he kept on calling him, like, Polk or something, right? So I'm like, wait, what? I thought his name was something else. So that's what confused me. But now I know. In grades, not just in a race. I mean, that's just once, though. It's not like he. 
did much. <laughs> or is that enough? I mean, he just beat her in a race. Yep, the responsibility fell on that burden. It was too much. But I mean, they're just going to go through with it. But yeah, they are getting rid, or not rid, um, they're getting ready for this festival. So yeah, just building all this, you know, seats and stuff. But here we go with um, yeah, Falco talking to Aaron here. My son took my daughter outside the walls. So, yeah, Aaron's literally talking to his granddad right now, or grandfather. Yep. I mean, you could already tell. Oh. So, no, actually, he needs to be taken care of. Even though he's a doctor? Okay. There goes the baseball. Oh, okay, yep, some more information. The Tiber family, a family of nobles that revolted against Eldia and the Great Titan War 100 years ago. They joined hands with the Marleyan hero Halos to overcome the Eldian Empire and bring an end to the war. As nobles who have long possessed the Warhammer Titan, they have guided Marley for many years and hold significant influence both domestically and abroad. Currently, 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 Willie Tiber is the head of the family. Yeah, I don't know why they said currently twice, but yeah, that's what his name is, Willie. So yeah, the one that we've been seeing. Okay, and Halos. Yeah, because I know 100 years ago. Yeah, for, yeah, join hands. Yeah, 100 years ago. They didn't have no gear to where you could, like, uh, attach onto the Titan and, you know, spin around them or whatever with the gear and the uh, gas. It's just straight hands and whatever you have. And apparently Halos was able to take care of a Titan without a scratch by himself. So, yeah, that's definitely a lot. But, okay, here we go. Yep, so the festival started. No way. Er. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, why did she? I'm saying, what would have happened to him with all these people here? It's definitely saved his life. <laughs> okay. Wait, Easterner from Hizudu? I mean, yeah, imagine what they would have done to him with all these people here. <laughs> nah, bro. The VIPs, the ambassadors. He revealed that solution in the first. Oh, the first ever theater production. Okay, well, yeah. Because they do have cameras, yeah, so that makes sense. Like, yeah, eventually they'll have theaters okay well yeah I'll probably be in black and white though since it's the first 
Okay. Another live, yo. We got the music. Okay. Yo, got that food too. Looking good. <laughs> they were bent up, bro. Had that ice. Two scoops. I mean, uh, two ice creams up in their hands. So you better make the most out of it. Cause they probably won't be able to um do this ever again. Okay, and that's it for this episode. Sorry, let me see here. Cause I was about to say, yeah, it looks like. Oh, bet. Wait. I mean, I know we're probably not gonna see the production, but yeah, this is yeah a little bit of preview. Okay. Or the night before, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll definitely see. It's been four years, Reiner. Yo, like what I say, bro. It had to have been Aaron just from the voice alone, bro. And just looking at his eyes, you could just tell. But, yeah, man. I didn't know he was going to confront Reiner like this. Or actually anyone, actually. I thought he was... Because the letters that he's sending... Well, yeah, they would have to have some type of code to it. Because I don't know if they check the letter, then send it off. But, most likely, they're going to the survey court to let them know, like, yeah, he's infiltrated the place he's here you know not too many people are suspicious of him and he at least some he has some type of um someone to i guess guide him around you know so that's basically falco you know to guide him around tell him what's what and yeah help him get to the letters out you know without raising too much suspicion and you know the state that he's in now is actually perfect because obviously you can see he doesn't he doesn't have half of a leg you know so obviously he wouldn't be able to do much you know and plus how would you be able to heal that off and if even if he was healthy you know uh what would he really be able to mostly do because yeah he yeah had like an eye covered up too so now he had that um really perfect disguise and yeah it's been four years so you really won't be able to tell if that's really Aaron or not. But, no, man. Yep. But we'll have to see what happens in the next two episodes. But, like I said, this, this may be the last festival they're going to have, so they better enjoy it. Uh, even though I really should be... Not going on their side. Yeah, it's weird because it's like they're really showing us their story. And I'm like kind of going for them. Like hoping they die. Like if it's a situation where they're about to die, it's like, oh, hold on. I don't want them to die. And then I'm thinking in my head later like, oh, wait. I'm not supposed to be <laughs> going for them, right? Because, yeah, the, everybody on Paradise, they're not. Yeah, they're no devils. Like, yeah, they're the ones who, um had to run away from those like bro having to run away from the titans and all it's like the same thing with eldians what did they do <laughs> you know that was all in the past you know this is the present now where you know some of them are being turned into titans you know being the successors and i mean i'm just saying not every single one of them is that bad, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. So, I have to just see later on. Oh, and they still got the plan to take over or go over to Paradise. But it's like, we're kind of already here. 
So yeah, they're late. So yeah, we're just have to see, but the other than that though, yeah, I'm gonna just end it off here. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.